What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing Avia and a Superman hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja Channel. Now guys, uh, it is 4th of July, at least it is for me right now, and uh, I am feeling it so much, so much American pride right now, and I want to do a video based on the best country in the world and their best fighting force, the Marine Corps. So sit back, relax, and let's get to it. Created in 2001, the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program, or MCMAP for short, is a combat system developed by the U.S. Marine Corps to combine existing and new hand-to-hand -hand close quarters combat techniques with moral and team building, team building function. This combat form takes advantage of not only unarmed combat, but includes edged weapons such as knives and machetes, weapons of opportunity, and a rifle and bayonet techniques. This training also covers mental development and the responsible use of force. Officially created by the Marine Corps in 2002 as what is considered to be a revolutionary step in the development of martial arts skills. This program comes from an evolution dating back to the creation of the Marine Corps itself actually, beginning with the martial abilities of the Marine Corps boarding parties who often had to rely on bayonet and cutlass techniques. During World War I, these bayonet techniques were supplemented with unarmed combat techniques from other styles of martial arts that proved useful in trench warfare. Between World Wars, Colonel Anthony Biddle began the creation of standardizing bayonet and close combat techniques based on boxing, wrestling, savat, and fencing. Also during this period, Captains Wallace Green and Samuel Griffin learned Kung Fu techniques from Chinese American Marines and brought this knowledge to other Marines throughout the Marine Corps. In 1956, Sergeant Bill Muller was placed in charge of hand-to-hand -hand combat and introduced new martial arts styles such as Shotokan Karate, Judo, Taekwondo, and Wushu into the training system that every Marine recruit must go through. This new system was tailored for giving soldiers the ability to efficiently kill their enemy combatant. However, this system was found to be largely lacking in the flexibility and techniques for use in situations that did not require lethal force, such as peacekeeping operations. Due to this, the Marine Corps began searching for more effective systems throughout the 80s and 90s. Colonel George Bristol and Master Sergeant Cardo Yurso, I'm really hoping I'm pronouncing these right names right, with almost 70 years of martial arts experience between them, established a new MCMAP curriculum. The program uses an advancement system of color belts similar to most martial arts today. Starting with hand belt at the lowest colored belt and conducted during every level training being the minimum requirement for all Marines. The gray belt is the second and attained after 25 hours of training. The Marine must complete the task leading Marines from the Marine Corps Institute. The third belt is the green belt, requiring 25 more hours on top of what they already have, signifying the understanding of the intermediate fundamentals of the different disciplines. This is the first belt level in which one can become an instructor, only being able to teach a tan belt. The brown belt is the fourth belt level, requiring 33 more hours on top of their training. This introduces the Marine to advanced fundamentals of each discipline. In order to be a brown belt, you must get the recommendation of the reporting senior to even test for it. Black is the final and highest belt color, requiring 40 hours of supervised training. It signifies knowledge of advanced fundamentals of the different disciplines. Black belts must also get the recommendation of the reporting senior. There is an additional five degrees of black belt, making the highest possible ranked a six degree black belt. Earlier, I was talking about the different disciplines. These are the mental, character, and physical disciplines. Mental training focuses on the study of individuals that have shown exemplary service on the battlefield, preparing the Marines mentally for battle and training a combative behavior often studying cultures such as the Spartans, the Zulus, and Apache. Character is designed to create ethical warriors, involving their Marine Corps values, ethics, and good citizenship as part of their training. Someone can be failed for not possessing honor, courage, and commitment. Physical training includes what you would expect in the martial art, combat training, and physical exercise. 
all of this makes M the MCMAP one of the most effective combat systems in the world. I don't think it's the most effective combat system, and if you want to know more about what I think is the most effective combat system, definitely stay tuned for this channel because I'm going to be dropping that video uh, in like a week or two, maybe a week. You'll, it'll be coming out soon, so just be looking out for that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you guys left a comment telling me what you liked about it, what I got wrong, maybe uh, a martial art you would like to see me cover on this series or anything like that. Don't forget, I am doing a giveaway for 25,000 subscribers. I already hit 20,000 and I am so thankful for you guys, but I am coming up on 25,000 soon and I wanna give back to you guys. So if you are interested in learning what the giveaway is for, it's for two Karambit Knives, one on Instagram and one on um, YouTube. If you wanna jump in and be part of either of those Definitely check out below. I have in the description. It basically tells you how to do it. You just gotta leave a comment. That's all you gotta do. And of course, there are other links down in the description if you want to join my Discord or join, uh, follow me on Firework or Instagram or whatever. They're all down there somewhere. You guys can check that out if you so desire. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you like this video and want to see more. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.